Okay, so there needs to be some temperance here. I Somebody on my wall, we were talking, and she's like, I'm getting beaten by your subs on this other channel. They're saying just the most... Jesus would never talk to me the way any of these so-called grace people are talking to me. You know, and and I didn't exactly know what she was talking about. <laughs> so we had the conversation back and forth, and then I went and looked. And, you know, sometimes when you get in um, a thing where you hear other people confirming what you believe and now you're right, being right is more dangerous than being wrong sometimes because now that you're right you think you have the right to just say anything you want to people and you know i got a couple reactions to my pharisaical legalist teaching uh pretending to be grace i mean i'm serious about the content of that video but there was an angry tone in it and you know is that allowed i mean there is righteous anger but i don't condone calling anyone out by name and just coming out and saying oh they're a wolf it's not that simple uh the people that i'm that that are um that i'm responding to i believe are genuine believers in the lord they do not uh deny grace um is the means of salvation and that uh, we cannot lose our salvation. I mean, we've asked them point blank. And that salvation is not by works. So they are brothers and sisters in Christ. But their teaching, um, especially one in particular, the teaching is growth by law keeping. I mean, it, it's really that it's that it's that cut and dry that it's really become a matter of, you know, growth by law keeping. And there's some other stuff going on that she's got a personal thing with another sister and that is muddying the waters even further. But anyway, I corrected this person on, in a phone conversation and and. I said it pretty strong and I even came back to say, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I said it that if I said it too strong, but I, pr I do hope that you take my concerns about this matter. And there was absolutely no evidence that they were going to take that concern. And then more teachings came out and I went to their channel and commented, no, this is incorrect. And I didn't call them names and call them a wolf and all that. I laid out, Here's what is different. Um, this is what Paul teaches. This is what sanctification looks like. It's cross-centered. It's Christ-centered. It doesn't matter. Um, and she was just like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And that was that. You know, she was not going to listen. Um, meanwhile, the, the grace community is all responding to this and and i was late in the game i hadn't even seen the videos before i saw other grace channels responding because i'd unsubbed to her for a while ago um so i was late in the game i didn't know all that was going on so i'm not the one who started all this i'm not teaching anything differently than i've ever taught i did get angry in that video and some people didn't understand because there was some anger there but i've done other videos where i'm angry at people on my channel saying this and I'll do a video and say, no, you're, you know, I do not like self-righteousness, uh, work self-righteousness. And you can say, well, you're self-righteous because you think that someone who doesn't have the same teaching as you is wrong. Well, that <laughs> we are, we have a treasure in an earthen vessel. That is true. But, uh, the teaching is critical. You know, sometimes we behave badly, but the truth has to be contended for. And sometimes, unfortunately, it has to be done publicly. When you're dealing with a sin, it's a private matter because only that person and the people involved are affected. But when you're dealing with a teacher and there's teaching and they're perceived as an authority and they're teaching in a way that's creating confusion uh, and it's contrary to the doctrine of Christ, 
then it has to be exposed publicly, not for their sake, but for the sake of the people who are listening. But anyway, um, I'm really frustrated because now I go and look at her wall and I see, yeah, I see grace believers that I recognize that are subs to my channel absolutely tearing people apart on the wall there saying you're a wolf and you're another commandment obeying a wolf. I mean, come on, this is too much. Uh, I would like to say, well, I'm not taking any responsibility for that and I'm washing my hands of it. I can't really do that. I don't know that I, you know, stirred up the, I mean, the, this is already there. This is already a problem. Whether I did videos about it or not, other people were doing videos about it. So, uh, I'm not uh, apologizing for any videos I did, but if you think that my strong words were then your cue to go and attack people that side w one way or another, please rethink that. Go delete your comments. Um, I saw some really distasteful stuff. It's just not cool. This is not a personal matter where we're personally attacking someone about their Christian life and judging whether or not they're saved or anything like that. We're talking about a teaching. And yeah, things get contentious when there's teaching differences. That's historically, uh, I mean, <laughs> apparently Melanchthon and Luther were having an argument about baptism and one of them got so mad he threw the other one in the water in the lake. You know, I mean, people, this stuff brings out the worst in us, and yet it still has to be dealt with. So even though I'm, that's why Paul wouldn't visit Corinth. He said, you know, I'm afraid that there's going to be rivalry and jealousy and flesh is going to come out, you know. I get it. That the, But the fact that we're earthen vessels and get in the flesh and respond incorrectly does not invalidate the fact that these truths need to be contended for. And it's not causing division. There's already a division. We can't walk together unless we agree. Uh, the division is that we don't agree. And we instead of pretending like we do and producing an incoherent mix of law and grace, works and grace, and confusing everybody, it seems like God is doing a work to Make it real clear, but don't think that just because you're a grace person, you're not going to be disciplined if you're mistreating people. That's really critical. Now, if they perceive that they're being mistreated and you're just telling the truth, that's on them. But if you're actually cussing someone out and, and getting personal and calling people a wolf and all that stuff, no, I, I don't agree with that. And I have to do a video saying I do not condone it. All right, talk to you later.